The two main echocardiographic abnormalities suggesting an elevated right atrial pressure are IVC dilatation and IVC plethora. IVC plethora refers to inspiratory narrowing of IVC on a normal quiet breathing while sniff is breathing audibly through the nose. During inspiration, there is an increase in venous return to the heart and decrease the pressure in IVC, which makes it to collapse. On contrary during expiration, there is reduced venous return to the heart and therefore makes it expand. When right-sided filling pressures are elevated, normal inspiratory collapse of the IVC is reduced. Measuring the IVC diameter. Use the subcostal window with IVC long axis view. IVC is measured just proximal to the entrance of hepatic veins, approximately 0.5 cm to 3 cm from the ostium of right atrium. It can be measured by direct 2D linear caliper on maximum expiration and inspiration, or by using M-mode modality. In this table, we can see the IVC diameter, how the IVC responds to sniff, and corresponding RA pressure estimate. Having an IVC diameter of less than 2.1 cm with a 50% or more inspiratory collapse with sniff, or more than 20% with normal quiet breathing, will have an estimate range of 3 mm of mercury. On the other hand, Having a diameter of greater than 2.1 cm with less than 50% inspiratory collapse will have an estimated pressure of 15 mm of mercury. Other conditions that fall in between will be having an intermediate RA pressure estimate of 8 mm of mercury. There are some special considerations. On some cases in young athletes where IVC diameter is dilated but the RA pressure is normal. Another consideration as this method for measuring RA pressure is not accurate for patients on mechanical ventilation. The formula for computing collapsibility index. Always remember we should measure on maximum diameter of both respiratory cycle. Collapsibility index is diameter on expiration minus diameter on inspiration over expiration then multiply it to 100. Let's look at this example. Diameter on expiration is 2.9 centimeters. Minus the diameter on inspiration 2.3. Divided by diameter on expiration 2.9. Multiply by 100 is equals to 21%. Based on the table, an expiration diameter of 2.9 cm and inspiratory collapse of 21% would fall on estimate RA pressure of 15 mm of mercury. Therefore this patient have an elevated RA pressure. Another example. Diameter on expiration is 1.6 minus the diameter on inspiration 0.7 divided by diameter on expiration 1.6, multiply by 100 is equals to 56%. On our table, a diameter of 1.6 cm at expiration and 56% inspiratory collapse during sniff will be having an estimate RA pressure of 3 mm of mercury. Therefore this patient have a normal RA pressure. Thank you for watching. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe.